YouTube boss it going the goat house is back we got our updated rookie rankings heading into week 10 we update these every week quickly going to break down the top 10 for this week not not too many crazy changes except for actually I did bump up a guy to number one here so we'll break it down for you guys uh, Twitter super followers get bonus rankings bonus content top 25 for rookies 10 in this video uh, but check us out on Twitter link pin in the comments for that as well as anything else on your screen that you're looking for here but uh, yeah, I just wanted to break these down real quick so Trayvon Walker stays in the top 10 uh, of the Jags pass rusher obviously the first overall pick down a couple spots here uh, Aiden Hutchinson goes up you know he's been in and out of these rankings and you know, some slow weeks, obviously, but a good week this past this past game against the Packers actually had an interception in the end zone. Uh, and he's been getting better with just getting the pressures. You know, not all about the sacks, but getting the pressures there. Brisker, the Bears' safety, he's had a monster season. He'll go down two spots. Just other guys needing to move up is really what uh, what what did it there. It's tough because the Bears' defense in general has not been playing great recently, so it's kind of tough on the guys that have been playing pretty damn well like like brisker maybe been playing like the best player in that defense for most of the season here uh garrett wilson uh moving his way up plus four up to number seven so he was just outside the top 10 before again the super flowers get 25 top 25 ranking so he was just outside the top 10 he moved uh, back up that's two games in a row uh with a solid uh game for for wilson so it's good to see him get going and Zach Wilson, the Wilson guys, you know, get getting on the same page there. Uh, Ikemic Wanu has been rising up, you know, uh, the last few weeks here. They started the year a little slow, which is all right, obviously, but um, really been getting going, and now he's you know continuing to climb. So he's number six. Olave had a good Olave had a good game. Um, really just moved down because I think other guys were a little more deserving of moving up. But it just seems like this top five are in a battle for the best rookie or then guys within the top five in a battle for offense and uh, rookie of the year than defensive rookie of the year with some of these guys, obviously. But, yeah, so Olave's still very much in that conversation. We kind of got a big five here. Damian Pierce had a, had a really good game against the Eagles, caused them some problems. Um, he went up one to, to number four. Uh, yeah, just tough moving the two corners down because they played very well this past week. Uh, I just thought really Kenneth Walker – Felt like number one right now because he continues to run super well and he's racking up the touchdowns, seven rushing touchdowns this year. Um, and you see him just close out games. He's just closing out games, managing the time of possession for his team. Um, you know, if I had to nitpick, there are, were some times, I think twice really, last week where he tried to get, stretch the ball a little too, art, too far outside instead of just getting up field because he's so good at doing it. When he does it, he's so good at it. Uh, but, yeah, he's been a consistent monster right now. So, been a big time for that Seahawks to kind of keep that run game alive, open up the pass game. Same thing. Geno Smith and boys kind of open up the run game as well. But the two corners at two and three, and they had good days. You know, Sauce got beat by Diggs uh, on, on a big play. And then at the end of the game, he ended up getting that pass deflection. He did he did lose some steps on that guy, a little underthrown, but oh, it got his hands on the ball, got a good interception reading that one. So he had a really good game. Woolen was flying around the field. Uh, I've been really loving the way he's been playing. So you see the Jets and the Seahawks continue to dominate uh, this list. I mean, the Jack got a couple guys, obviously, as well. Um, you know, Bears got a couple of rookies playing well for them. Um, you know, so... Yeah, just real quick there. It's good to see maybe a new number one, even though Gardner's still definitely deserving. Woolen's deserving. Pierce is deserving a lot. I think, again, the top five, I think, are all in such a battle for number one. Like, it feels weird not having number one next to all of those guys. So, um, we'll see the, the way it ends at the end of the year. I'd be curious to see on who finishes at, at number one here. Uh, every week, these, these rookies impress. And some new guys starting to impress, too. Kind of Kirby Joseph, the safety from Illinois, now with the Lions at a big day against the Aaron Rodgers, two interceptions. So, uh, maybe he's starting to make his way up there. So, it's good to see that uh, as well, some new faces. I, I liked Kirby Joseph out of Illinois. I thought he was the best single high free in the draft. I had a number six safety overall. There's not too many single high frees out there. Um, uh, but I thought he was more of an upside guy just because he's just got going at last year in Illinois. Before that, he couldn't really get on the field. Uh, and he's had all the traits, the athletic traits you look for. Uh, so you think it maybe would take a little bit of time, and he's getting going right now. So that's uh, – that's, that's a good sign there for a guy like that. So, uh, yeah, that wraps it up. That is my Week 10 rankings. You guys can give me your rankings in the comments. Always talking to you on Twitter. And, again, Super Followers getting that bonus content on Twitter, bonus rankings. Uh, but, yeah, full NFL coverage here. So join us for all that. Check all that content out. Like, subscribe to your notifications on. That is going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.